Hi everyone, welcome to Combined Sunday School for First Trinity, St. Matthew, Lifeline Partnership, uh, any of our friends from Vacation Bible School, all are welcome. I'm Miss Kimberly, I do the Sunday School uh, for First, Ma First Trinity and St. Matthew. And I'm also going to be joined by Pastor Suzanne, who leads a Lifeline Partnership, Sunday School, and so many other things. So we're going to start with creating a sacred space, and Pastor Suzanne is going to do that for us. After that, we're going to have a we're going to do the Lord's Prayer. Then we're going to have a Bible story, and we'll also have some send you some fun things that you can work on at home. So. I'm really excited about our new format, and I hope you like it. Hi, everybody. It's Pastor Suzanne. I'm down here in the First Trinity Fellowship Hall in what we call the Sunday School Room. So before, in normal times, you all would come down here on Sunday mornings, and Miss Kimberly would have a story for you and activities to talk about the story and you would she would have questions and we would all work together to try to figure out what the Bible story means and what it means for you. So we're still going to do that today, except you all are in your own physical space and we're going to be in our physical space, but we can still come all be together in one space by doing what I call making sacred space. So one of, what, one of the ways that we do that is by lighting a candle. So here's an electronic candle. I'm going to turn it on. And you can see the glow. And that reminds us that the Holy Spirit is here with us. So we're all together in the same space, even though we're physically apart. And the Holy Spirit will be here with us to help us to listen to the story, to talk about what we think it might mean for us, and then to try to figure out what that means when we walk back out the door. So let's get started. Let us pray. The Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Kingdom come, who will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. This Sunday, we celebrate All Saints Sunday. It's a day we remember saints, but what is a saint? The word can be translated to holy people. So let's talk a little bit about what that means. Uh, we're going to do this by showing you how one church honored its saints. This is a church called St. Gregory of Nyssa. It's located in San Francisco. You can see they painted life-size pictures or icons, the people they considered saints. But here, it's not always the people we traditionally honor as saints. In this picture, we see how the congregation gathers for communion. It is surrounded by folks who are painting people they consider to be saints. Let's take a little bit closer look at some of these people on the church walls and see who they are. And here's one row. Can you tell who the person is, who the arrow is pointing to? It's civil rights activist Malcolm X. Other people include singer Ella Fitzgerald. Bishop Desmond Tutu of South Africa, 
and our very own Martin Luther. One more person, soldier of truth, who helped uh, enslaved people in the South escape to the freedom on the Underground Railroad. And she uh, she was a slave as, as a child but escaped and then became involved in recruiting soldiers for the Union Army and then eventually helping free slaves. So if we remember that a saint is a holy person, we learn from this that you can be a saint even if you're an ordinary person and a person who is not perfect, just like us. So the community at St. Gregory of Nyssa picked people who were special to them, just like someone, sometimes we call someone a saint because they're special to us. So Martin Luther said we are saint and sinner at the same time, good and bad in each of us. So does God still love us? Well, there's good and bad in each of us. But God does still love us, even though we're not always good. God still thinks of us as holy people. Oh, <laughs> 
Hey, Leopard. 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 Hey, Leopard.